Prosto veľmi obecenstvo mojej guru Pada Pada Mani, teda pre vystomočnú Pada Šela Pamana Gusu Maharaj, niečo nie teda pre vystomočnú Pada. Z toho teda šáta, čiže čo mám bakti, vedám to Šela Narayan Gusu Maharaj. So their lotus feet, which remove all the fear, my repetitive obecenstvo again and again to their lotus feet. After that also, I also may offer my obecenstvo nie teda pre vystomočnú Pada Šela Bakti, vedám to Somi Maharaj. So all the sannyasis, so all the mothers, so all the devotees absorbed in Mahaprabhu's moods, so all of those eager to listen to Harikatha, so everyone, please, I offer my obeisance again and again to all of you. So under the guidance of Guru, of Guru and Vaishnavas, we're doing the Vrajamandal Parikrama, and the place we are is Adi Badrinath. Called also Adi Badri. Adi means origin, origin of source. The first. So, the Brajavas, they are so simple. They never think about themselves. They never think that uh, we are associates of Krishna and or we came from Nitya Goloka Vrindavana Dham. The Vrajavasis never think that. The Vrajavasis, they think they are like Bada Jivas. They think they are conditioned souls. So although they are eternal associates of God, the Vrajavasis, they think they are normal human beings. You know? Because Bhagavan he comes from Nitya Goloka Vrindavana Dham to this material world and manifests. He manifests here with his own associates. Like in the Bhagavata, Shukadeva Goswami, uh, through one shloka, Shukadeva Goswami told all this tattva. So, Bhagavan, mercifully, to give mercy to whom? To the devotees and to the jivas also. Lord comes from Nita Goloka Vrindavana Dham and he brings his own associates. And also he manifests his Dham and all these places, his pastime places. If somebody listens about this pastime and also glorifies these pastimes in the end, you'll be able to directly attain this dham, this abode of Lord. So in this way, so, so Bhagavan manifested this transcendental dham from Goloka Vrindavan, brought here, Krishna brought to, from the transcendental world, this dham here. But one speciality is that the Vrajavas, they think themselves, they think they are conditioned souls. So that's why the Vrajavas is just like ordinary persons, they want to do uh, pious activities and they want to go to Tirtas to pilgrimage places. So, now the Maharaj and the Vrajavasis, they want to go for pilgrimage, for pilgrimage, because Shasta explains that Shasta explains that after many births, God gives you mercy and gives you birth in the India, in India, in India. Even demigods are praying. They are praying to God. The demigods are praying to God. Oh, God, we have so much opulence in Swarga Loka. We don't want all this. We want to be born in the material world, in a human body. Why? Because through human body, by the human body, we are, we are able to, to do bhajan of God, to worship God. So, in, like, 
So Shastra explains that what is the duty of a human being is to go for the pilgrimage places, to go to the pilgrimage, pilgrimage places. Because if you go for the, to the Tirthas, if you go, two things happen. If you go to the Tirthas, two things happen. One, Chitta Shuddhi means your heart is purified. Your, your mind changes. Your mind. Because if you if you stay in your house every day, you're just cooking and cooking and just cooking so much dal and rice. Everything becomes a kichri or like a pakora. So that's why Shasta explains. Every three months or six months, or at least once in a year, you have to go to the tirtha, to so the pilgrimage places. Because if you do that, your mind will be purified. And also, the speciality of going to the tirthas is to having to have sadhu sangha. So, if the sadhu is not there, you should not go. That place where the sadhus are not present, where harikatha is not going on, which benefit you get by going to a place? By going to a what play, benefit do you get if you go to a place where there are no sadhus and no harikatha? That's why in the Bhagavatam ex explains this shloka, saying that the Bhagavad Katha is so nectarian, full of nectar. And if you go, if there is a place where there is no harikatha, the sadhus are not there. And even if you have the opulence, so much opulence, just like Indra and the demigods, there's no benefit in all these opulence if there's no sadhu, no harikatha. So, in this way, the duty of a human being is that sometimes you should always go to journey, like you should go to the pilgrimage places, and you have you should have the association of the saints. So, in the same way, the Vrajavasis, the Vrajavasis the so, thought, oh, we also want to go to the pilgrimage places. I will go to the Ganga, take a bath, to the Jamuna, take a bath, to the Badri, Narayana, Kedar, Nath, etc. We have the darshan of these places. So they were thinking like this. Because a real human being, a real human being should, yes, go to the Tirthas, pilgrimage places. So the Vrajavas is told to Krishna. Oh, Krishna, we want to go to Tirtha Jatra. To go, we want to go to the pilgrimage places. Krishna thought in his mind, these Vrajavasis, they are my eternal associates. And all the Tirthas, the pilgrimage places, actually they come, they are staying in my lotus feet. That's why one of the names of God is what is his name? You forgot. Tell loudly. Name of Krishna is Tirtapad. Means all the Tirthas are at his lotus feet. All the Tirthas are at his lotus feet. So that's why God's name, one of his names is Tirtapad. So Bhagavan in his mind, Krishna in his mind, he thought. He was thinking, my Brajabhasis, they are so innocent. They are so simple hearted, so innocent. So simple. They want to go to the pilgrimage places. Actually, all the Tirthas, they come to have their darshan, but now my Vrajavas, they want to go to the Tirthas. So Krishna thinking. Okay. Oh, they want to go to Badrina, Raina, Kedarnath, Gangotri, Jamunotri, and we just had the darshan, Lakshman Jula, Ram Jula, Haridwar. We had the darshan of Haridwar. Harikipauri also. When we were coming, from the right side, it was written. It was Haridwar and Harikipauri. We cannot go up here with barefoot. We just saw, okay. Otherwise, next year you'll not come back if it's too much. We have to keep you to the next year. This place is so beautiful. We don't want to even we, we even don't want to go away, go out, go back because this place is so beautiful. You see how beautiful is this place. The nature here is so beautiful. 
So in the previous year, all the, there were 10 buses or how many? 11 buses. Everybody left. <clears throat> we are like seven people in one car and we, or maybe two cars. Anyway, we, maybe 6 p.m. We, we came here with, uh, and it was so beautiful, so beautiful. Everybody, like everything was glowing, like sparkling. And the animals, the birds are here. You're, you're not seeing so much, but when the sun, sun is about to set, even the deer, the deer also appear. The peacocks also start dancing. So at that time, so amazing, really. So what is the glory of this place? Just by seeing, if you have to stay actually one night here. That's why there's a temple here. But anyway, I was telling that the Vrajavasis, they told to Krishna Kanaya, we want to go to the Tirtha, to the pilgrimage places, to Haridwar, Lakshmanjula, Ramjula, and Hrishikesh also, and other places. We want to have the darshan of these places. We want to go to the Gangotri, Jamunotri, to all these places we want to go. We want to go. Krishna told, hey, Brajavasis, why you want to leave Raja to go to other places? Speak loudly. You don't know, but all of you are Rajavasis. Are you from Australia? Do you live in Australia? No, actually, you are all. Vrindavan Basis, living in habitat, habitats of Vrindavan. Sometimes we get some stamp because of COVID-19, showing if you are positive or negative in COVID. So all of you are Vrajavasis. All, who, who is Vrajavasi? Raise your hands. Everybody raise your hands. Everybody is a Vrajavasi. You are all Vrajavasis. Is he sleeping? So Krishna, what did he do? Just by his thought, he manifested all these places here. Then Krishna brought all the Vrajavasis and they had darshan of these places here. So actually this place is the origin of all these tirtas and this place where people go like these other tirtas not in Vrindavan but outside Vrindavan that people go actually they are manifestation of these original places which are inside Vrajadham like people go to Haridwar and Gangotri to Jamunotri actually this is not the original places here in Vrindavan this is the original places of these pilgrimage places that's why here we say Adi Badri Adri Kedarnath, Adi Gangotri, Adi Jamunotri. Adi means origin, the original, origin. So here is Adi of everything. So Krishna showed the Vrajavasis all these places and then real, the demigods, they do austerities here. So, so this is the origin of all these pilgrimage places. That's why Brahman, great demigods, they do austerity here. That's why there was the Deva Sarovar there. Sarovar, do you know what is a Sarovar? What is a Sarovar? It's like a pond. A pond. So you can see this beautiful pond. So imagine when Krishna was present in this world. If Now it's already so beautiful. Imagine at that time. The water was blue like crystal like crystalline you if you drop one coin you can even see the coin falling to the bottom of the pond 
we came here with maybe 10 or 15 people, maybe one or twice with Gurudev doing Parikrama with the Vrajavasis. So we used to put one coin, like throw a coin in this pond, and you can even see this coin falling to the bottom. So if now is already beautiful, imagine at that time. So the cuckoo birds singing, peacock, pe my throat is not so good. So the cuckoo birds singing and also other kinds of birds also. So Gurudev used to say, so many fruits uh, and so many trees giving so many kinds of fruits and full of <clears throat> beehives and bees and bumblebees. So beautiful. So imagine this place five years ago. Five thousand years ago. So, so many hills are here also. So, this is such a beautiful place. So, Krishna brought all the Vajbasis here to see these places. And Krishna told, if you take bath here, you get all the auspicious things, all the punya, pious deeds. So they are like doing human-like pastime. So Krishna told. So Dev Pali also, because demigods come here. The demigods use demigods used to come here doing austerity and also taking bath here. That's why Dev Pali is the name of this place. Deva Sarovar also. So this place is so beautiful. Shastra says that. If you go to these places, you don't need to go to come go to all the other places. So if you come to have this original, to, to the darshan of these original pilgrimage places here, you don't need to go to the other ones outside Vraj. Shastra explains. But people who have, who doesn't have so much intelligence or those who are eager to spend money and those who have those who have so much like itching in their feet and they want to go here and there, then they go to that place. Where? To Uttarakhanda, in the north of India, to these other pilgrimage places. Okay, go. You want to go, go. But really, the original places are here. So if you come here, you don't need to go anywhere else. Because if you come to the origin, why do you want to go to the other places? To the places, like for example, if you water the roots of a tree, then all the tree will be healthy with green leaves, etc. So in the same way, this is the origin of all these tirthas. So that's why there is a sloka saying that So this log is saying to go to the Tirthas is actually to go to the Tirtha Yatras pilgrimage places actually is a Brahm, it's like illusion of your mind or some like delusion of your mind you're having. Because if the saints are not there, you know. I told that people go so high and so far away to go to these pilgrimage places. Because if I told people go so far and so high to go to the Jamunotri and Gangotri, then they come back, then they become sick. Some people, they cannot even come back because in the middle they're there. So there it rains so much and there's a, like a mudslide, mudslide and... Then the people die. Have you seen this? I think two or three years ago, even some devotees, our devotees, they went there. They stayed three or four days. They they had they stay they stayed like held up there and they couldn't come back. Then uh, then these devotees they were brought by brought back by a helicopter. You know because there was so much mudslide and there was a big calamity there. Have you listened to this? You, you can see, you saw uh, in the YouTube they showed and also in the TV, so many thousand people died. died. So many, um, because of this land, landslide, so many also houses also were destroyed. But come here then. Ah, no. 
No, I don't want to come here to see. I want to spend money to go. I want, I want to climb on the hill to go to Gangantra Jamanotri, very far away, very, very high. That place I want to go. Then they even call me, Maharaj, come also with me. I, t I And then I say, I say, I can have darshan here. Why would I go to other places? Because this is the original place. So, you can have the darshan of this place. This is the Chit Bhumi, transcendental pastime places of God. No need to go anywhere, anywhere else. So, this is a place so rare even for the demigods. You can have the darshan here and chant Krishna names. When you, when you give up your body, they will ask you, what, which darshan have you had? Then you can say, I had, I saw Gangotri, Jamunotri, Dev Sarovar, Adibadri also, Kedarnath, Brinda Devi, Haridwar. Bhajanatali also had a darshan. The best place we went was the sliding hill, sliding stone, Pichal Pahari. You see, he, maybe 10 times or 50 times you, 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 you slide down that hill. How many times you did you slide you slide in the hill? Ten times? The cave of Bomasur. Okay. The, also had the darshan of the feet of Baladeva, this the, the footprints of Baladeva. Did you eat Kichri or not? Also you you ate the muli? You ate the um, I forgot, uh, like reddish, white reddish. You wait, also there's more also left. Okay, let's have some darshan and then there's, I want to tell a small story. You know that in the Shamat Bhagavata, it's written there that that once in Dwaraka Puri, all the saints, they were in Dwaraka Puri and at that moment, Samba, Samba, he was dressed as, as like a woman, in this guise of a woman. Actually, Samba was not a woman, but he just externally, he pretended he was a woman, like putting the clothes clothes of a, wo of an, a woman, Samba. And then he put some... He put some clothes also under his belly, like inside under the clothes, pretending he was pregnant. He was a pregnant woman. And they covered their, his face with the veil. And then they wanted to make fun of the saints. And they came and told, oh, she's pregnant for the first time. She's so shy. She's so shy. Tell us. She'll give birth to a baby. It will be a boy or a girl? It will be a son or a, or a daughter. Then a saint like Durvasa or, or not some saint which knows present, past and future. He told, oh, you want to joke with the saints, right? So he told, okay, it will be not a boy, not a girl from his womb. From her womb, it will come a muscle. And by this muscle, this piece of iron, all, all the Yadu dynasty will be destroyed. So the boys were so afraid. And then really at that moment, from the belly of the symbol, when they took out all those clothes, like the, the garments, actually there was really a piece of iron, this muscle. So what to do now? So they came into to Ugrasen. Then Ugrasen told, do one thing. If there's no bamboo, there will be no flute. So you see this piece of iron you should take and let's go to the beach and let's just grind it. Let's just grate it. Grate this piece of iron on the beach. Uh, like grate in, you know, in some stone or something. Let's grate this piece of iron. And like grating or like rubbing, rubbing, and then so there are some. So after grating this piece of iron, like all this powder of the iron stayed there in the on the beach, and because of the waves, this was there on the beach. 
and but there was a small piece left after grating just one small piece of iron and this piece this piece just like a small piece they took in a boat and then they threw in the middle of the ocean but then one fish ate it and then this fish was um, caught by a fisherman and then and then the fisherman saw this piece of iron inside the belly of the fish and then sold to a hunter and then the hunter used this iron piece to put uh, in the tip of his arrow to hunt animals and what happens Swayam Bhagavan he knows everything so he knows knows that was time for the destruction of the Yadu dynasty so by some so he had to take some excuse to actually bring everyone to the transcendental world so once actually all the jadavas were drinking some ras and then they started like discussing to each other like debating and quarreling and then they were quarreling so much then in the end they started fighting like really fighting first the it's only quarreling with your mouth isn't it then becomes physical like a fight then anyway so then they killed to each other and now uh, there was some problem in the hindi broadcast so now gurudev is saying that um i think krishna told to udav that uh udav uh, had to go and see vidur because vidur was waiting for krishna's new um like message like how krishna was and everything and then you have to go to krishna told to udav, then you have to go to badrinarayan so this place we're here Udava also came here so that Naranarayana place also the Tapta Kunda so play, people don't go to that other place but here's the origin you did Achaman in the Tapta Kunda you didn't take bath but you did Achaman it's very deep also the Tapta Kunda if you sleep there finish for you what to speak of coming back next year even tomorrow you'll not appear so so Krishna told to come to these places and Parikshit Maharaj asked one question too Shukadeva Goswami Parikshit Maharaj asked hey Brahman hey Gurudev Shukadeva Goswami please tell me Uddhav was from part of Jadu dynasty. He was from the Vrishni dynasty. Vrishni means dynasty of Yadus, of the Jadus. So what is the relationship between Krishna and Uddhav? Like cousins. Because actually, Father the Vasudev Maharaj he had one brother. So, the, what is the name of the father of Uddhava? Uddhava's father. So, they were brothers. Like Uddhava was on a kind of a, like a cousin of Krishna or something. So, he was also in the Jadu dynasty, of course. So, Parikshit Maharaj asked to Shukadeva Goswami. Actually, Parikshit did this question. Hey, Gurudeva, you know present, future, past, you're Brahman and Gurudeva. Tell me, please. If Swayam Bhagavan, if Swayam Bhagavan, he, he accepted this curse of the Brahmana, that the Jadavani dynasty would be destroyed and Krishna, like, he disappeared because of that. How Uddhava, how did Uddhava was saved from this curse and he could stay in this material world after all the Jadav dynasty was destroyed so the harikata did not end here but to, to some internet issue or something the this is all we have <laughs>